Hello and welcome to another episode of our Unknown to Icon Football Manager 23. I am Duper Daddy and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video we have a top of the table match for you. Both teams sit in first and second. We are against Scarborough Athletic. Before we go into that, let's see what games we've played in for background and provide you any updates. All right, let's get into it. In the last video, we played against Peterborough Sports, not Athletic, or Peterborough Town. Is that Athletic Town? I don't know. But I didn't even realise there was a Peterborough Sports. But we won 1-0, completely dominated that game. But then we played a few more games, which two were for FA Cup qualifying games. If we just quickly look into the first one, uh, a league game, Vanarama North. We beat Chesham. It lost its name, so I didn't quite catch that. Is it Chesham? Chesham. Yeah, we beat Chesham. There you go. There's the stats. Just a quick look at it. Again, really good shots on target ratio. Really, really good. Pulses complete, dominated. No, tackles didn't get so much, but then again, what was possession? 51%. High intensity sprints. That's our high intensity play that we do. We quickly bring up the XG match story. And I think that just shows for domination. In fact, remember this game. We dominated playing our defaulted formation, our starting formation. Yeah, we tend to do all right with that. But out of nowhere, Chesham got a goal. Just out of nowhere. And I went, whoa, what the hell has gone on here? So they scored in for 82nd minute. Oh, that's it. They got a penalty. They got a penalty. And I think for the next game I'm going to go into, I think we gave away a penalty again. So I'm not too sure what's going on there because we don't have get stuck in. Anyway, keep the story short. Change it to attacking formation. Got two goals in two minutes. 91st minute, 92nd minute. And we came away with the win. Ah, uh, same. If I didn't record that one, would have been a good one. And then we played Redditch. I'm not going to go into that. One, two, one. I actually played my B team. So I just gave some squad players a chance. But Skura and Agbo got a goal there. I just realised that's not showing my view. Created my own views. And here we go. Then we played Leamington. Leamington's a good little team. Not doing so well in the league. But we was away. Was there a penalty in this one? Yes. So we was winning six to third minute. We conceded a penalty and... We ended up drawing. Always in the game. So yeah, another game where we was on top. Got a bit unlucky with that penalty, to be fair. And then we played Mikrova in for third qualifying round again. Did we give away a penalty? Oh, they didn't even score against us. But that was tight. And I think, again, I might have played my B team. We look here, yeah. I played my B team again. It's because they're not a league team. So I thought, why not? And we got Hartlepool next round. That's going to be a tough one. Division above us. But they're not playing that well. So could we nick something? I might play my top team. Because then they're going through into FA Cup. It's bringing money into a club. So we did better for another season already so that's good i've just got a new computer so um i'm still getting things all set up hence why for lack of videos lately so last five games is over for last five games but if you just want it to be first team last five games i mean you can change that that's an option i didn't realize until the other day because i had one as first team and then the other one was as last game i probably chose it by accident and i was like why is there a difference there I was getting confused and then I noticed and ideally I don't want to see a form of under 21s or even international or B teams or whatever. I want to see what they're playing for me. So we're actually going to replace this column. So stats general, general and then there is last five first team games. So how are we performing? We've got assists. Who's got for high assists? Stead and York expected with Skura, our 17 year old. He's got two assists as well. And goals, Sante, Kambon has got four. Stead's even got four and York has got three. But Sante with six, amazing. And total average rating. Derek Hunter, our 17 year old goalkeeper, he's played two games for us. All right, let's jump into a game. I think I've spoken enough. Again, I haven't changed anything on my tactics, so I won't go through that. I'll give you a quick look if you want to see uh, as a reminder. That's how we are playing. That's when we need a goal. And that's our cautious tactic if we just want to hold on to a lead. Been using these tactics for quite a while now. Not too bad. I think I've got to a stage that they're doing okay. And I'm probably too scared to now to try new things. Been tweaking so much. I mean, if you've watched my videos from early on beta or early on in this series and my Tottenham series, I tweaked 
even last fo- football manager 22 was probably for worst football manager where i tweaked nearly every single game and i was just not getting any success out of it i've learned my lesson for patch mm, i I don't know for for winter pa- update. Don't know if these tactics are performing as well as they sh- could be. But then again, a patch or update is always could go one way or the other, or there could just be no change. But I'm still on a lookout for a decent set play. I haven't really experimented with them too much. At the beginning of the save, watched some YouTube videos, took advice, and I haven't been that impressed so far, if I'm honest. So I'm gonna have to look at newer YouTube videos and see. I'm not I'm not gonna create set. Play. Right, let's pick my team, shall we? I'm just looking at our last five games here of how they've performed. And I'm thinking about... I think I made these changes already. Yeah, T. Rendell's playing brilliant. Pendleberry's not playing great. But what we could do with Pendleberry... we have a better defence midfielder option? No. Let's bring in D. Hutchins. I think when they get that, start dropping down to 6.7 below 6.5 mark. I mean, you round up old championship manager days. It used to just be rounded up, right? Six and a half would be a seven. 6.4 would be a six. I mean, now it's done by two decimal points. Makes our decisions more harder as managers. Are they really playing well? I mean, in championship manager, you would see him playing as a seven, 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 seven. So we know sevens are quite good. Or was it done by decimal? I can't remember. Can you remember how Championship Manager was done? I haven't played it for ages now. Was it decimal? Was it one decimal? Do you remember? Let me know in the comment sections. Okay, I'm happy with that. High sixes, some good sevens in there. Wanda's not starting. Thompson's on good form. Mm, this kind of dropped off. Went a bit weird. Okay, happy with that. But then again, Wanda's scored. He's, he comes on and he scores. It's Thompson hasn't scored yet. Sometimes he's just had that preference. This is a big game. Ah, I forgot to tell you. Oh, you're going to see it in a minute, anyway. Where we are in the table. Obviously, last video was, we're top of the table. But unfortunately, Scarborough Athletic had a game in hand. And obviously, they've gone above us with that game in hand. So this is more most important game ever. Luckily, Luckily, we're at home, so this could give us that push. Good form. 1-1, one, one, drawn 1. Then we go over to Scarborough. 1-1, one, one, drawn loss. Ooh. Oh, they must have got knocked out for FA Cup qualifying round. So that was the last game. There we go. Top of the table clash. Both on the same games now. I've also configured my Sante. Sante gets a goal. Sorry, uh, working out my sound. So, as you can hear in the background, I've got a bit of a crowd sound from the game now as well. So, yeah, I've done my sound decking. Love it. Just can't believe I haven't been doing it before. But it goes for a different channel. A game channel. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, we're winning. We're winning. This is a big game. Go on. Go on, Asante. 2-0. 2-0. I think they both came from crosses as well, didn't they? Is that why we're trying to put them in? Here we go, early crosses. There's only one person in there. Ooh, this goalkeeper's dodgy. Go on! Stead that was feeble. Go on, Stead. Wow, what a start. What's in? Asante! Ooh! Beautiful football, Hutchins, Jones, Waldington, Sante, Hutchins. Just thing is, I play fullbacks. I'm like, Asante! As you can see, my fullbacks, Wendell and Nick, because they're supporting and they're fullbacks, I don't get forward. Because in Tottenham, I've actually moved one into wing back well now. And it just helps that balance of getting forward, more men forward. 3-0. Sante Hattrick. Instead. To Sante. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh. <laughs> Better be. 4-0 before half time. Hutchins. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting this. Randall, Rodinson, Turner, Mandela, Rodinson, nice passing. Taking our time here. Taking our time, but then nice fast passing. Good. 
just can't do anything, can they? Think they are shot. Jesus. Smith, what are you doing? Should be 4-1. Oh, wait a minute. Our team falling asleep. They changed something up. Hmm. They might have went more attacking. I mean, why not? They're losing 4-0. Wow. Yeah, at that end, they've changed something up. Can they really come back? Just don't know. Well done, boys. I am very happy with that. Wow. The top of the table. And we're winning 4-0. Still got another half to go. Early days. You just never know what this game can do to you. We could be getting to the 90th minute and I'll be crying because it's 4-4 or we've lost in the 96th minute and it goes to 5-4. Yeah, they're picking up their play now. They've changed something up. We need to be aware of that, I guess. Oh, I've just noticed I didn't move myself over. There we go. I said in the last video that I want to do the left for left for tactics and then for right for matches, but I don't know why. I will always probably forget that here. Again, Sante. Oh, I thought he was going to have a shot, but York did. Unlucky. They're making some changes. We've had 13 shots, 7 on target. On Hutchins to turn, I have a crack, why not? Unlucky. Have a crack, no. I've just seen their goalkeeper's name. <laughs> have a crack, no. Oh, lovely ball over the top. Oh, Sante. Beautiful control. Just slowed him down too much for the defenders to catch him up. Right, turn a corner. Can we get a fifth? Ooh, don't know where that's going. Hutchins. No, he's... Oh, no, he's got it back. Well done, Hutchins. That's what I like to see. He got a bit cocky with the control. Lost it. But he ran back and got the ball back. Fair play. That's what I like. That determination. Right, yes, I think it is time for some subs. Huvo, everyone's having a great game. Rest some players. Maybe our Sante can come off now. He got his hat trick. Yeah, let's give him a rest. Kabonda, anyone else? I mean, he was the most tired player by the looks of it. Just that's on a yellow. No. Right back a rest. That'd do that for a moment. I might take off my left back as well. Turn up into a box. Ooh, what a strike. Who's that? John. And he just come on. Could have been a wonder goal. Might play a left back. York's in plenty of space here. Back to Turner. Turner's in space. Wonder. I mean, I'm glad that he found a player because I would have been pissed. Turner. Cross. Corner. Near post. Doesn't work. York. Turner. Can find someone. No, another corner. Or maybe Pendleberry can come on. Turner's playing really well. Stead's getting tired. Should play Bailey up for wing. And we will just put that to cautious. Confirm. Done. Wow, I was not expecting this victory. I thought it was going to be one of those real tight games. And we're still attacking. Stead. Can we find it? Oh, went for that near post finish. Goalkeeper saved it. Oh, wow. I thought you just missed. Six minutes to play plus stoppage. Third. Running down that for wing play, we've been fantastic. And, oh, unlucky Kabonda. Right, John, you're short going to. He's just running at them, look. Just finding that space. Come on, Turner. Oh, unlucky. Maybe that's something I might change. Run at defence. Because they're not hacking that. I mean, we're doing it already. But run at defence more. Tired team. Last five minutes. We're winning 4 0 and I tell them to run at defence. Sit. Let's have a look at the stats. 22 shots, 8 on target versus their 9 and 3. 2.45 XG for us. 58% possession against the top of the table. I mean, you did see at the beginning our form is really good. Their form, they had lost in for FA Cup qualifiers. Maybe that's it. That's 
one loss it just takes it away that's why i did that video as well is that well we lost a game it, it could have went either way we could have just went on a losing run and just struggling to win a game or you win it back and you just find that form again or you get or you get that inconsistency don't you win lose win lose wow they had more high intensity sprints than us by four i mean normally we're for highest but i think now intensity sprints maybe that was chasing us down because all those highlights were showing us running down that whip through their players into space which was lovely to see they had quite a lot of fouls we had a lot of corners 13 corners wow and our headroom was rubbish but better than theirs they only got 44 percent really good average rating performance wise well, Asante got match ball, got his hat trick, and across the ball, pretty good. Kabonda had chances, but obviously he didn't take them, so he got a 6.5. York had a good game. Stead's end product just wasn't good compared to York's, I guess. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I'm not even going to look at the XG. Actually, I will, because dominating top of the table like that is brilliant. Nice work, everyone. That was good. Oh, yes, indeed is. And after beating top of the table, we don't go top of the table. Beating him 4 0 has brought us on level goal difference. We've won nine games, drawn one. Yeah, we are just bang on, exact same as them, but they remain top. I'm feeling confident on the season. Then you go back to our schedule and look at that, all those greens. I love it. I mean, you can take away pre season, but still, one drawn and one loss out of all those games so far. It's a great start. I'm even quite confident going into Hartlepool because they've been off form. With a form team, we might be a division down, but we're playing well. We're playing like promotion contenders at the moment. Will it last? It's a long, long, long season down for road. Will it last? I don't know. I really hope it does. I've just played in for background, our Hartlepool game, and you never guess what. We won! We won it. That's it. We're through to the FA Cup proper. First round. Amazing. We just have a quick jump into the game. We had 19 shots to their 15. Six on target to their three. My XG wasn't as good as theirs. We'll look at XG in a minute because that pretty much tells the story of the game. And I think possession was tight. I think it was pretty, pretty much tight. We had more fouls. That was the only big difference there. But you look at XG. Look at that. Look at that. That run of play there. Uh, we got for goal. And they just, they just struggled getting anything from us. Just shows how strong our defence is. And there you go. Wharton didn't have a great game. Probably that's where their chances came from. And then rest actually battled. And that's probably where they focused. And that's probably where I would focus. If I saw something like that building up as a manager, you want to do that. Asante Alcee's hat trick. He felt like he deserved the day off by playing as 6.4. But nope, I wasn't having it. I needed him there just in case because you just never know. He's such a goal scorer that you just never know when he's going to get one. The next thing is the FA Cup draw. Let's go into it. Who are we going to get? What teams are in this draw? What big teams are in here? Chef Wednesday in here. We could get Chef Wednesday. Are they in here? Did they come in uh, first round or is it second round? See Wickham, Wrexham. Ooh, Wrexham. Be interesting one. Dagenham, Redbridge. Oh, wow, it's a slow draw. I don't know who sits there watching it like that. MK Dons, Ipswich. Chef wednesday has got to be in here somewhere. Maybe they're second round, you know. Why would they be second round? Stoke. Ah, wait a minute. They are second round because they've been promoted. They're in championship now, aren't they? Ah, okay. But still, it's like big teams. Big teams. Right. Let's pause this because what we're going to do... Wait until we pop up. Stoke versus Salford. Bolton versus Exeter. Morecone versus Brackley. Ah, oh, it's not as big game as I... Well, it is. They're in League One. Morecone. They're in League One. I'm not doing that great in League One, but still. That is three divisions above us. To be fair, that is probably my, the biggest game of, of the season for me. 